Uh, Benjamin players, uh, we got a problem. Uh, that problem is, uh, Utopix Exile. Utopix Exile is a problem, bro. But don't worry. It's a problem, but it's not unbeatable. Why? Because you got the Pen God, who just put in hours and hours and hours of research on how to destroy this dark garbage, garbage, garbage deck. Don't worry. It might be a problem, but with all the research done, we could destroy it. So if you think, oh no, Utopix Exile is going to stop us, you're sadly mistaken. 15 tips right now. 15 tips on how to destroy... How to obliterate, how to smother and annihilate. Numeron, tip number one. Buy a Triff Gaming just now exclusively release to an Electromite Cloth Man. Us uh, so the 14, stay tuned for the rest of the video. If you think a little rank one Numeron deck will stop us, you're mistaken, bro. Cause only rank one that matters is Pendulums. Cause we're ranked number one in the world. Let's go. So don't worry, boys. See you in the video, smash the subscribe button. And let's get it. How to destroy, how to annihilate, Numeron. Let's go. Whether you know nothing about Numeron or everything about Numeron, you're about to be an expert by the end of the video. Cause Numeron is still numero dos. Because numero uno is Pendulum, baby. Pendulum deck, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry. Your boy got you. I did all the research required. You guys don't need to be scared about this deck, all right? It's still a crazy, crazy deck. So I'm going to explain right now everything you guys need to know to destroy the deck and how to play it as well. So we're going to go straight into the combo first. But don't forget, guys. You can do the combo on, on random mats if you want. But if you don't do it on the Tomb Cloth Lecture mat, you're slacking, bro. You're slacking. You already know that when you play Pendulums on this Cloth mat against Numeron, you're going to obliterate them. So get your tune electromite cloth mat right now. And after you do that, hit the like button, boys. Stay tuned to the end of the video so you learn everything. And let's get straight at the start. Let's get started on today's how to destroy Numeron video. So I'm gonna show you guys the combo first. Combo is very simple, actually. You activate Numeron Network and you basically have your combo. So Numeron Network, you're gonna use it to send Numeron Calling to the graveyard. Numeron Calling is basically a soul charge from your extra deck. Numeron Calling will then allow you to special summon one, one of each, uh, up to four Numeron Gate Monsters from your extra deck. And you got, there's new Numeron cards, so Numeron one, uh, Gate 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. And you're going, going to summon three because you want to play around Nibiru. If you want, you could summon a fourth one, and the fourth one will be this one. Going second, you can summon four if you want to because they help you go over an OTK, which we'll get to the OTK part at the end of it. The purpose of this video is to educate all you guys on everything you need to know about Numeron. That's what I'm saying, stay tuned to the end. We're gonna discuss everything. 15 cards to destroy the deck with, how to do the combo, how to go second with it, everything. I've done so much hours of research for this video, just so you guys know. This is a new hot deck, and every new hot deck moving forward, I will put in the time for you guys to learn about, uh, just how I put in all the time for Pendulum, just so you guys can learn about it, man. This video just for you guys, bro, so you guys can learn whether you wanna play it or destroy it with the best deck, Pendulum. So here we're gonna summon three, and the whole gist of the deck is after you summon three, if you're going first, you're gonna take the three, and he's gonna go into Zexel with it. And that's just the main point of the deck. And it's under four summons, and you get a free Zexel for nothing. And if you notice, there's a one card Zexel. Numeron Network equals Zexel. Very simply as that. You just activate field spell Numeron Network, send Numeron Calling to the graveyard, which is the effect of Numeron Network, to copy its effect. A Numeron Calling says special summon up to four Numeron Gate XRC monsters from your extra deck. But, you can have special summon or normal summon for the rest of this turn, except one monster. That's why you just take it into Zexel. So there's no reason for the fourth one. Now, that's if you're going first. But if you're going second, it differs slightly. Because going second, you could summon the fourth number, which is the number four, uh, obviously. Uh, numero Catra. I don't know my Spanish. All I know is one word. I has uno. Gus pen, bro. Pen. Pen best deck. Let's go. So we got one, two, three, four. So going second, if your opponent controls a monster, so let's say your opponent controls, let's say for example, your Needle Fiber. You're playing a bunch of one card engines, right? So if you're playing a Numeron deck, you probably have like 15 hand traps main deck. You're probably playing an Eldritch engine in there as well. So let's say your opponent tries Needle Fiber and you hand trap them, all right? So you enter battle, uh, so you go your turn. You just activate Numeron Network. You got, your opponent got a Needle Fiber, right? So you enter battle phase now. This is, imagine this is a Needle Fiber. So you're gonna attack directly with Numeron Gate. Uh, attack the Needle Fiber with Numeron Gate, and it's 1,000. They're all 1,000 attack, but because of the field spell, they gain an extra effect. The field spell now means that each of them, whenever they attack, 
all Lumor monsters you control double their attack. So if your opponent controls any monster that has 1,000 or more attack, going first you go Zexus, going second you OTK. Because you attack, so you take 500 damage against the Needle Fiber, right? But now the fact, they also, none of them get destroyed by battle. So your card still stays on the field. And all your cards double by uh, to 2,000 attack now. You're, now you attack with number two. So now your opponent takes 500 damage, but your opponent just, your monster just battled another monster. So now everything gains double attack again. So your opponent just took 500 damage. And now this guy, uh, number three, Trini, is at number uh, 4,000 like, attack. So now you attack directly for 4,000. Cut Bari's at 4,000, attack for 4,000 again. And that's 4,000. At 4,000. So if your opponent controls a monster that has over 1,000 attack, Numeron Network equals OTK to the face. If your opponent controls multiple monsters, it doesn't matter because it's still infinite damage. Because if you control multiple monsters, then you can get Katvari up to 16,000 attack. All right, that was bad math. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. You get them to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get, get it to 8,000 attack. 8,000 attack. So 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000. So as you see, it's very easy to kill them. And the cool thing is that they're all machines. So going second, if your opponent puts is playing some deck that like spans monsters, the, uh, as long as your Numa Network resolves, limited removal might not be the worst card in the world because it'll get them to 16,000, 8,000, and it's pretty, it's pretty deadly. So that's it for going second. Now I'm gonna show you guys, that's it, that's literally it for the combos. It's a very helmet deck. If you're not that good at Yu-Gi-Oh, I recommend this deck. Uh, there's other options you want. If Zexel gets banned, or Zexel is gonna get banned 100%, you can also go for uh, Mega Clops, which is a big issue for a lot of decks. They just cannot deal with one one Mega Clops. Another issue is you could start another thing you can start Yuja. You can use Numa Network as like a Saryuja engine if you're playing like uh, if you're playing Elich, because then you can just Saryuja set all your traps however you want to. So if Zexel gets banned, and then uh, another option is just Appaloosa, which it can give like you can have a bunch of one card Appaloosas in a in a trap deck now. All trap decks can play Numeron Network. Subterra can play it. So Numeron is going to be legit in the meta, man. It, it's like, it's going to be bad. A lot of shit decks could now end on a free Zexel for nothing. So now, now you guys get the gist of the combo. That's it for the combo. That's all for there is for the combo. If you guys have any questions about the combo, subscribe on Patreon. And I happily answer any, any Yu-Gi-Oh questions at, at all times. Just feel free to PM me on Patreon. And we also do Pendulum Training on the Patreon. So go check it out on there. Now I'm going to show you guys all the, uh, all the cards that you need to play in your Numeron deck. These are all the main cards you need to play in your Numeron deck, regardless of what deck you're playing it on. So you got Triple Numeron Network, Terraforming. Those are the four obvious field spells. Numeron Wall, what this does is if you control no cards, you just so you do it right away. Discard it, and then you uh, add Numeron Network to your hand. It also stops like uh, one damage from your opponent, one battle. So it's like seven ways to search Numeron Network. Planet Pathfinder. If your deck doesn't play normal summon, you can play Pathfinder to, to get the Numeron Network. So that's 10 ways. Set Rotation, if you play a deck that has field spells like Subterror, now you have another way to into Numeron Network. So it's 11. One for one, if your deck plays monsters, you could uh, summon Numeron Wall via one for one. But typically the decks that do play Numeron Network and Numerons don't have many monsters to play with because you can't do much with monsters anyways with the way the deck's built. So one for one might not be the best option, but in general, there's 12 good ways to search Numeron Network. Uh, and then uh, Numeron Calling uh, is something you don't want to hard draw, but if you hard draw, it doesn't matter because it still works. It's like in the following turn. Uh, it doesn't work by itself. This is the Soul Charge, but Numeron Network sends it to the graveyard. But Numeron Calling needs a field spell for it to work. So it just, you put two in the deck. And then the extra deck cards you need are two of each of the Numeron Gates, except you just play one Katvari because you rarely summon out four. If you're going first, you always summon three. But if you're going second, you summon out four to go for the OTK. That's why you only need one Katvari, but two of each of the others. And then if you want, there's a second option, which I personally don't play. And that's number C1, Sonya. And this allows you to uh, just summon it over everything. It's like cool if your opponent has a bunch of monsters. If your opponent has a bunch of monsters, you're just, you're just destroying them anyways with your Numeron. So I prefer not to play this one. Uh, but you can play it if you want to. Uh, but you should play two Zexel just in case. And then one Mega Clops, one Scudger, one Appaloosa. Then after that, I'd recommend uh, Needle Fiber because you're probably playing a lot of hand traps. And then after, I'd also recommend Axis Cold Talker. So that'll be a solid extra deck there. Uh, cards that you can throw into this deck if you're interested in playing it. it it's good in all trap decks, it's good. But the main engine you're going to want to play it in is El Lich. Uh, I'm going to give you an example of El Lich deck right now that I have. No run El Lich deck right here, which it's Infinity Hand Trap version. So I'm playing 15 hand traps in here. Because it's 15 hand traps with a bunch of one card combos. 
and a bunch of Lich cards. The side deck is built to also defeat the upcoming meta, which I believe is going to be a bunch of Numerons. And Ghost Ogre is the best way to defeat it. So this is just my version of the deck. Uh, if you guys want to see a version of it right here, if you guys want to see the download link, just message me on Facebook. I don't mind sending it to you guys. This is my version of Numeron L Lich. This is the deck profile, the deck list. You guys are looking for it. If what, why you guys are here. Now, how to defeat the deck, which this is very important. And for all my pendulum players out there. So if you guys notice all the cards in the side deck, okay? I'm now instantly going to get rid of all these cards and talk about these one by one. Uh, so number one, Forbidden Chalice. Now, uh, for all pendulum players, you already know I'm recommending the spell cards. But... The best cards that generically stop them would be these 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 seven. These seven are kind of the guarantees. Chalice is semi guarantee, but I'm gonna explain why. So in terms of hand traps, you can run Ghost Ogre, Ghost Ogre on the field spell, and then they can't use it again because uh, you can only activate it once per turn. Cherries on Zexel, and then they can't Zexel anymore, but they can still Appaloosa you. But do pendulum players give a shit about Appaloosa? No. Do you care about Mega Cops? No. Look at that. This is a generic extra deck in every single one of their decks, and they're gonna have. Uh, needle fiber and access code talker. So, like I said, I'm uh, so they're gonna have these 15. So, if you uh, cherries the Zexel, if you're playing Pendulum, if you cherries the Zexel, right? If you cherries the Zexel, they no longer have the Zexel. What are they gonna do? Appaloosa? I don't give a shit. Uh, bro, what Pendulum players don't care about Appaloosa? That's just getting destroyed regardless. It's irrelevant to me. It's like not, it's not even on the field. So, cherries is vital. Because that's what it'll do. Cherries, if, for, if you're playing another deck, let's say, for example, you're playing, like, Elich, for example, and you cherries them. You're still getting Appaloosa, and, like, Synchro Elich can't play through one Appaloosa. Uh, so, that's why, it, it depends on the deck you play. If you're playing Pendulum, I highly recommend these two. I also highly recommend Flying C. Flying C is the same as Cherries. If Zexel is gone, Flying C ensures that Zexel cannot be summoned. But if you Flying C them, then they'll just Appaloosa you or Sayuja you. Which again, you're playing pendulums, you don't give a shit. Let them. So against pe if you're playing, uh, if you're playing pendulum, I highly recommend for hand traps is Ghost Reaper, Flying Sea, and Ghost Ogre. A cool thing as well as Gamma, because the second you activate a scale or a spell card, they're chaining Zexel right away. So you Gamma the Zexel right then and there. So the, these four are very good for pendulum players. So moving forward for pendulum players, if you want to go with hand traps, you can go with these four. But uh, if you want to go with spell cards, cards you could possibly draw into. Cards you could draw into the fans, uh, the, the cards I like for drawing into would be still Gamma because Gamma is still good, like it, you still draw into it as a sixth card. And uh, your opponent, if they're good, they're actually gonna wait for you to activate like an upstart goblin or something in case you get imperm. So you can at least have like one draw card, uh, you know, get not one draw, it'd be your sixth card, that's it. So you just have Gamma, Chalice, Exorcy Encore, Forbidden Droplet. Everyone knows Exorcy Encore does, it just stops it and they can't respond to it. Chalice has a slight issue. If your opponent opens Scarlet, Sanguine, and Conquistador, they could chain the Conquistador and Scarlet to pop the Conquistador, uh, pop the Zexel with Conquistador, so it's no longer on field, so Chalice will no longer affect it, and you still cannot activate cards for the rest of the turn. Now, I don't think that's a problem, because it, I'm gonna do some math for you guys here, some trip math time, okay? Some trip math. This is not normal Elich, where you are. I'm gonna go back now, I'm gonna show you guys the Elich deck that we we're talking about. Uh, so, they literally have to hard draw the Scarlet, bro. They don't have souls. They're not allowed to put Lord on the field. If you hard draw Lord and some cards, what are you going to do? Lord, send. Lord, send uh, Hakuero to the graveyard uh, to get the Scarlet. Okay, uh, what are you going to destroy? You're going to go neg three just for a Scarlet? How are you going to get the fourth card in your hand as the Conquistador? Does that make sense? So it's a lot more difficult than it seems for this version. Because you cannot physically put the Lord on the field. You cannot put Lord on the field. Lord can only destroy your own card and stay in the graveyard. Because with the Numerons, you're not allowed to actually put monsters on the field. You're not actually allowed to use souls to look at your hand and send the card you don't want to be able to uh, uh, set up your sets. Does that make sense? You cannot use Jet Synchron to discard a Hakuero to get a Scarlet. So you typically only have the three Scarlets with maybe a few more if you get lucky and draw a, like three, uh, or let's say if you draw Numa Network and like four Scarlet cards, four Elixir cards, it's way too difficult for you to draw a one of seven. So typically they play, not many people don't even play Pine and Pathfinder because it's susceptible to hand traps as well. Valor, Imperm, Nibiru, Ash, because Pine and Pathfinder, you can Nibiru that now. So every hand trap works on Pine and Pathfinder. So not many people even play it. 
So, uh, typically you only have seven. So you have seven ways to number on cards. So a seven of, plus a three of Scarlet, plus a six of Conquistador. What? Like, like you know what I mean? Like, and then it's, it's not as searchable as it seems where you can't put a monster on field, you can't play souls, you can't use jet to choose. You almost, almost basically like what you draw, you set. It's extremely helmet to the max, the Numeron version. The Numeron version is a lot different than normal Elders. Does that make sense? Hence, a lot of pros would say, oh, I'll just Scarlet, Sanguine, and Conquistador on my own Zexel. But it doesn't happen like that. You're asking for like a 10% chance to happen. So you're asking for a 7 of, a 6 of, and a 3 of. So according to my math, that's a 0 of. Because pen best deck and you're never actually resolving that. Another card that can stop it is Forbidden Graveyard. Sorry, Forbidden Droplet. So Forbidden Chalice, meet your new friend Forbidden Droplet. What Forbidden Droplet does, when your opponent activate, attempts to activate Zexel, use Droplet. Uh, and even before that, sorry, just like drop ace, whatever. Droplet, you send a monster from your hand to the grave. Droplet now instantly stops all monster effect. Monster, one monster on the field can't use this effect anymore. It's negated for the rest of the turn. And you can't respond to it if you discard a monster card. So if you do that, your Zexel is dead as well. And if you side in traps, let's say Imperm or something like that, and send a trap card. So I wouldn't recommend that for like your version, but if you're playing Elich and use Forbidden Droplet to send a Golden Lord and a Conquistador, then your opponent can respond with trap. It's a red reboot and uh, there's no monster effects for the rest of this turn. So it's like, it stops both traps and the Zexel. So it's pretty damn powerful there. But for Pendulum, it's okay. But you're gonna have four cards versus like their versus their hand traps, and you're gonna destroy them. But ideally, I would say Gamma, Encore, and Chalice are the best ones for Pendulum. If you want to go with hand traps, Ogre, Flying Sea, Cherries, and Gamma, Encore, Chalice. So these are the best ones to play. The other generic one, obviously, you need the Driver. Other generic ones are Delta is pretty good because they can stop the field spell if you're already playing Gamma as well. Imperm, if your opponent is expect is if your opponent is thinking uh, like. You're playing Pendulums. I can't let him activate one spell card. You know what I mean? What if the spell card activates like a Desires or a, a, a Mastery? It's going to resolve. And especially me, they're going to see Triff Gaming and no one playing Pendulum. So I think Imprint will be good for me to play because uh, they're going to activate it like standby phase. So you'll just Imprint them. But if they wait for you to activate one card, your, your Desires already resolved. You're good. You know what I mean? Like, you could draw into more stuff or, like, random interruptions to stop your point on the following turn. Random stuff like that. Planet Pathfinder, if they play that in the Bureau Works, uh, going second for the OTK, when they summon four cards to try and OTK you, but they don't OTK you, they do a lot of damage, and then you go into something else and the Bureau can work out, but not really. Valor, Ash, all the hand traps in the world work on Planet Pathfinder. Dino Wrestler, they're only going to have a three material Zexel, so it's going to be 2,000 attack. So you can just special summon the Dino Wrestler, they'll chain the Zexel, no problem. Enter Battle Phase, Dino Wrestler, destroy, and then destroy the Field Spell. So then they don't have a Numeron, they can't OTK you with Numerons on the following turn. So I'd recommend Dino Wrestler as well as one of the top cards to play. Red Reboot to stop the trap cards. I think the only card moving forward you play is Dino Wrestler, Red Reboot to stop traps. Focus on Numerons moving forward. Cosmic Cyclone as a follow-up, if you get rid of the Zexel, just Cosmic Cyclone the Field Spell next turn. You could potentially play triple pen graph to hard draw it and have some interruption. And those are, in my opinion, the best interruptions here, the best 15. So that's the video, guys. Super in depth for you guys. I did a lot of research here. I picked 15 cards for all pendulum players to use to destroy Numeron. Because Numeron, bro, trust me, y'all gone, bro. Pendulum best deck, and we ain't leaving nowhere, bro. So you guys like the video, smash the subscribe button if you guys got this far. Smash the like button, let's get 500 likes. And I'll do more videos like this where I can teach you guys how to play new decks, how to destroy new decks, so you know how to defeat all the new challenges that we're going to have. Don't forget to check out the beautiful Trip Gaming Cloth playmat, bro. I'm telling you right now, it's the best match in the game, best quality in the game. Everyone can attest for that. And lastly, if you guys want to learn more about Pendulums and more, if you guys have any questions about this deck, Message me on Patreon, sign up right now on on Training, all the training available, even the cheapest option available, lots of options for you guys to learn and get better at Yu-Gi-Oh! Hope you guys liked the video, let's go, and we'll see you guys next video, peace!